We have another example on the board. This time angle alpha is given and length of side A. We're supposed to find the length of side C and side B and angle beta. This time I'm going to look at the problem. I have alpha and I have A and let's take a look which formulas we can use. We're supposed to use the formula which contains two pieces of information. We have alpha given and side A and we have alpha given and side A. So we can use two formulas. Formula for sine alpha and formula for tangent alpha because we solve previous problems with sine alpha. This time we are going to use formula for tangent alpha just to show you that we can use also tangent. Okay, so we have tangent alpha is equal a over b. Opposite side to angle alpha over the adjacent to angle alpha. 